Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 38 of Divine Journey 2. In the last episode, we went to and returned from uh, Eden, which was cool. Um, I did have to go back <laughs> after the end of the episode because I totally forgot about um, opening... So we got the, the key to the door. And then I just like immediately came back to the base and I forgot I had to actually open the door and get the loot inside, which I went back and I did. I got this unholy essence. Uh, so that was a bit annoying. It was slightly easier to go back the second time. Um, and yeah, we got seven of them. So I don't know if we have to go back and do another one if seven is enough, but uh, I guess we'll find out. It is used in a bunch of different things. One, two, three, four, five six seven so i guess we have exactly the right amount if we only need one each of those statues that'd be good um but yeah at the end of the last episode oh i'll just quickly collect that quest um i, I figured we'd need to start working on this thing here so we need to get the shogoth flesh i think that's called isn't it shogoth flesh yeah this thing um, and this needs um empowered oil uh, which is kind of a complicated recipe. We need crystallized oil and empowered canola seeds. And this one we need uh, crystallized canola seeds and refined canola oil. And then this needs canola oil. And then we need it. So it's a bit of a going to be a bit of a process. So I have set up down here in our little uh, farming area, whatever you want to call it, um, some canola seeds. I don't know how many we will need in total. Where are they? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I have eight stacks of seeds and 30 stacks of canola. Um, if we need more, I might have to set up a, you know, a couple of layers kind of like we have over here with the, with the flax. So we'll see how we go. That's enough, at least for us to get started. Um, and the other thing that I've been doing is in order to do this, like, because this is going to be kind of a complicated thing with like throwing seeds into fluids in the world. Um, I figured integrated dynamics would be the way to do it. So uh, over here, I've unlocked all of these quests. I built all of the un integrated dynamics stuff. I've got them all set up in here with recipes. Um, and I have a little stockpile of some of the things that I think we will need today. Um, so for the mineral trees, I actually have, oh, you can see one there. I set up um, a couple of, where's the center? I set up this side of the this plant sower with mineral saplings. So, oh, I'm trapped. So yeah, we have heaps of mineral. Uh, lots of mineral coming into the system. Uh, yeah, so I have oh ten thousand now. I also have a little setup. Um, I don't know if this is probably if this is going to be the way I'll keep it forever. But over here at the storehouse. I added a roof to this little room here. So this is where we had our alloy smelter and our sag mill. I added an extra f floor up here. Um, it's currently empty except for this. Um, this is just a, the mechanical squeezer cooked up to a mechanical drying basin. And then I can basically put uh, both mineral and popped chorus fruit in. So the popped chorus fruit gives these guys. And then the mineral obviously gives the crystallized mineral. So I don't have it hooked up to the ME system or anything, but I figured um, you don't need too much of this stuff. And I think I can just like, you know, craft a, a big batch of it, just like I did there every now and then. And hopefully that's enough. So if you look here, I have, yeah, I have a bunch of these things, a bunch of these things, some of these, a bunch of variable cards. Actually, let's get a few more of those. Uh, a bunch of logic cables. Um, I did have a chest. Where did I put the chest? Uh, the programmer. And wait, I thought I had a variable chest. This one, variable store. Okay, so let's get a couple of those going too. We'll need those. Oh, what are we missing? Coke dust. Ah, so yeah, this needs um, hyper diamonds. That reminds me of another thing that I made. So let me just, uh, uh, wait, maybe I won't. Um, so over here, I made a little setup for creating hyper diamonds. We're going to need lots of these going forward, right? So 
the hyper diamond is is made by um, exploding industrial grade graphite dust with TNT you get hyper diamond out of it so I made a little setup down here um, because we have this area uh, claimed it doesn't the, the explosions don't actually do anything so the obsidian is really just for like um, <laughs> like for looks you know so basically I have a dispenser here where the TNT goes I have this precision dropper which is where the industrial grade graphite goes and then over here we have the setup which controls it all so here's our recipe we have 16 industrial grade graphite dust plus one TNT equals 16 hyper diamonds it all goes into this chest and then these conduits put them into um, the the precision dropper and the dispenser so the dispenser obviously when it gets a redstone signal it will dispense the TNT and ignite it and then we have um, this uh, range collector to pick up the hyper diamonds and then oh that was a bit of lag I have this clock here set to I might actually increase it based on the last test I did um, so basically what happens is we have th this um, clock is turned off at the moment because of the redstone torch this um, level emitter is set to turn on whenever we're crafting hyper diamonds so as soon as this uh, redstone signal turns on that turns off this which unlocks the clock and then it it'll do one complete cycle and then it will give you a tick and that tick will cause the uh, the dispenser in here to release the TNT um, so yeah, that's how we make our hyper diamonds now. Uh, I haven't tested it doing more than 16 at a time. I think it should work in theory. We may end up getting some extra TNT explosions, um, but it shouldn't destroy any of the diamonds. I guess we shall find out. Uh, one thing I've also done is um, over here, I hooked up this um, drawer to the ME system. So now all of these cold cokes end up in, being in the ME system. So I can see we've got 32 stacks and you know we have some backed up and I have some planks here too I guess we can move those over these are all just manually as well because the treated wood we don't need like infinite I don't think we need infinite hopefully not um, yeah so let's uh, I gotta make a quick recipe for the the coal coke coke dust I don't I guess I didn't have that yet okay We'll put that in, a, I don't know, any old crusher will do. I think I have a crusher, yes. The ME, the, the, the mechanism I will do. Okay, so now we should be able to do variable chest or variable store, whatever it's called. And how many hyper diamonds is it going to make? Oh, that was none. Let me make one more. Now we should need, oh yeah, see, we need... Whoa, 256. I guess because we make 16 at a time, right? Where's the hyper diamond? Wait, am I missing something? Why do we need the coal coke? To make coke dust, which is to make, I don't even know. Oh, maybe it's just hop graphite. Oh, hop graphite must be for the, the ME drives. Yeah, okay, never mind then. But yeah, so I can actually query uh, request. If I request one... Oh, that's interesting. I don't have any dark stone recipe. Dark stone. Dark stone. Wait, that's not dark stone. That's the wrong one. That one. Okay, and I'm running out of molecular assemblers. I only have two empty ones left. I should probably make some more. Uh, okay, so let's see. Now we should be able to make hyper diamond. All of the stuff is ready for it. And if we go over here, we should see. Oh, why is there XP there? This should start to work, right? I don't want to pick it up though. That's the only thing. I don't really have a good place to sit and watch it, do I? I guess I can break one. Shouldn't hurt. And then, so this thing will turn on once it starts crafting it. So it's got to make all of the 
you know, the previous ingredients first. That's why it's not on yet, I think. So let's see, is it gonna do it? I don't have any way of monitoring it to make sure it's actually working. There it goes. So we should see the, yep, it's dropping down the diamonds. There's the TNT. And boom. And that should have made a bunch of hyper diamonds. And there you go, there's 24 in there now. Okay. So let's, um, oh, actually, so let's, yeah, now the thing that we're going to work on is um, this stuff. We're going to get all the way, hopefully, oh, I should probably collect all these quests, shouldn't I? So we're going to get all the way to um, the, the, yeah, the Shogoth Flesh. Hopefully we can do everything of that up to there today. We'll, we'll see. It's going to take quite a while. But I think what I will do is um, I will set up each component in the chain and then we'll come back. I'm not going to do it all on camera because it's going to be kind of fiddly and I'm going to, I've, I've done it a little bit in creative mode, but overall it's going to take um, a bit of trial and error, I think. So I think I'll just do one step at a time and we'll, I'll bring you back for each step. Oh, I also made this syringe just to get the quest done. Uh, oh, I don't know which one I want. They're both as good as each other. Also both as good as each other. I don't know what the proxy does. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so what I'm planning to do is I'm going to put it, uh, I built this little thing. I didn't get a, a time lapse of me building it because it's basically the same as that one. But basically once we go down here, I have this big empty space here, which is where I'm going to build the machines. So yeah, let's, um, the first step I think is going to be the uh, crystallized canola, this one, which is just um, a, in an atomic reconstructor. So that's pretty straightforward. And then we get um, some of these coming out. So let's get that going and uh, I'll show you that. Here's the first little step done. <laughs> Supposedly one of the easier steps, but uh, doesn't look that easy. So basically we have here the Emmy interface where our inputs are. We have both canola seeds and canola here. Um, I have a, um, an interface there. And then basically there are three things underneath this um, atomic reconstructor. We have the world item exporter. Now this is a, a choice card where the input is this Boolean variable. So this is a, a less than eight. So we have this inventory reader here, which is reading this inventory. As long as there is less than eight crystallized canola seeds in there, that will be true. And it will be exporting um, canola seeds. If it's false, then it will be exporting rhyolite cobblestone, but we don't have any rhyolite cobblestone, so it does nothing. Then we have this, which is an entity reader. As long as there is a, um, uh, up here, yeah, we have a, whenever there is an entity that is a canola seed, then that reader will be true. And it will, um, this is a, a, a redstone writer, which writes a redstone signal to this, which makes it do a, a pulse, right? So if I was to put this canola seed down here, this entity reader would read that there is a canola seed there. It would write a redstone signal out to there and boom, it would do what you just saw there. Finally, we have a world item importer. This is a very simple one. It just picks up crystallized canola seeds on channel number one, because we want to make sure it doesn't go back into this ME interface. It has to go into here. So this interface is set to channel number one and it goes in there. So basically, if there is less than eight in here, less than eight, it'll run and fill it up again. It, it does a little bit of extra, so we end up with nine usually, but that's fine. But anytime we go below eight, it'll automatically run to replenish it. So, step number two, let me just put these in here because they'll stay there. Step number two is going to be, um, wait, what do we do? Crystallized ah, canola. 
So we have the crystallized canola seeds. We could put it into uh, refined canola oil and get crystallized oil out. We also put it into an empowerer with regular canola seeds to get empowered canola seeds. So I'm going to set up both of these things. So this refined canola oil um, is actually going to be inside a fractionating still <clears throat> canola oil, which we get from an industrial squeezer. <coughs> Excuse me with uh, canola in it. So I'm gonna to have to set up an industrial squeezer to get the canola, fractionating still to get the refined canola oil, and then uh, a little system here to throw crystallized canola seeds into the refined canola oil to get crystallized oil. So let's do that. Here we go. So now we have crystallized oil, and this is fairly similar-ish. Um, so basically what happens is we put the canola into uh, an industrial squeezer here. The industrial squeezer outputs into a fractionating still, which gives us refined canola oil. And then we just have this uh, very simple fluid exporter, uh, I should say world fluid exporter that outputs uh, refined canola oil into this block here. Then we have uh, this world item exporter, which has a choice variable. So this choice is based on if this tank reader reads less than 8,000 millibuckets in this tank, then it will output uh, crystallized canola seeds, else it will output dirt. So at the moment it's on dirt because we have more than 8,000 in this um, tank. And then, so it, and then it's um, pulling the, the actual uh, crystallized canola seeds from this chair, uh, drawer over here. So it's outputting it into that. And then this world fluid importer is then just uh, set to import crystallized oil. Um, I just remembered one thing I forgot to do is turn off the velocity. So we want it to be zero. And also, we want to do one at a time, not all eight. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you how this works. Let me take out two buckets of that stuff. So 8,000, it's still not less than, that's not enough. One more bucket, it'll output it, it's really quick. Um, it, it output two because it was quicker than it could uh, read it. So it's actually back to 9,000 again. And then because we took two out here, you could, you could hear this thing running again, it's refilled it, it's back up to nine as well. So I could just keep these in here for now. I'm going to keep the levels low because it's so fast to replenish it, except this thing, whoa, this is the slowest part. Um, oh, I should probably do something about that. Maybe I should have a, a tank. That nah, doesn't matter. I'll just uh, get rid of these. <laughs> there. Um, yeah, so that's this bit done. The next step I'm going to do is automating this. This is actually probably the easiest to automate. I'm just going to use conduits. I'm not going to bother with integrated dynamics. There's no real need. It can just be regular old conduits because we're just putting in uh, canola seeds, crystallized canola seeds, and taking out the, the empowered canola seeds there. So let's get that done. Okay, this is very easy. This is all just conduit stuff. This is no, there's no integrated dynamics here. I just have a, a limited item filter here set to eight. So this will not fill up with more than eight, like that. And then this will just get backlogged. So the next one will be there ready to be picked up. And then again, you know, as we pull the, the crystallized ones out, this thing will run to automatically um, re, you know, repopulate it. It's kind of a bit, a little bit, you know, this is kind of in the way a little bit. I don't know. I, I didn't want to take up too much space with all this stuff. So I've kind of made it as compact as I could. But now the next step is um, throwing these into this liquid here. So basically it's going to be the same setup that we have here. It's just going to be, uh, I think I'm going to put it right here if I can, because that's probably the best place to put it. So I was thinking maybe I'd have to take up more space like over here, but actually... Um, yeah, it should fit right in the center here and, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, it seems to be working. This is filling up with empowered oil, seven. This should go up to 16. I set this one to 16. 
So it puts empowered ones, which takes slightly longer to actually empower. But yeah, this setup here is basically the same as this one. It's just, um, you know, different fluids and different items to go in it. But other than that, it seems to be working. Let me take a quick screenshot of all this. This is cool. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that? Oh, no. We have a problem. Okay, this needs to output only when there is... When there is a uh, fluid to actually go out. Yeah, this is going too slow. Okay, 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 quick. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Wait, why is that not? Oh, no. Yeah, why isn't it putting it out? Oh, it is. Okay. So, hang on. Let me put those back in the... Back in here. And this choice needs to be... Uh, I wish there was a way to edit them. This needs to be... There's less than eight here, and there's a fluid here. Because if there's no fluid here, it's just gonna keep ticking out, and it needs to wait. All right, that'll take a little bit of, and I might have to do the same here, I guess, because we don't want the same thing happening here. Although, I guess this probably takes longer, but just to be on the safe side, it's probably better to have that there as well. Uh, Alrighty, let's do that. Okay, I think that's got it. So now we have a reader here that's reading this block uh, fluid, so refined canola oil. This uh, choice has been made much more complicated. It's now, if this block contains refined canola oil and there is less than 8,000 buckets in this uh, tank, then we'll output a crystallized canola seed. Um, so if I temporarily disable this, and then I pick this up, and then I take this out, it won't output it because it doesn't have the fluid there. If I put the fluid there, oh wait, wrong fluid. If I put this fluid here, oh, and I'm going to take this out as well. Then it will output it. See that? So it needs to have both the fluid and the, the tank to be less than what it's supposed to be. Yeah, okay, good. And then I can probably do the same here. I think this one is less likely to be a problem because the empowering of these seeds takes longer. Um, oh, although maybe not. Maybe because this only has eight. No, yeah, this will definitely, this will, this will generally be fast enough, I think. But I think just to be safe, I should do the same thing because I definitely don't want to be wasting the empowered ones because those are kind of painful to make. So yeah, I'll do that as well. And I'll also make this um, a lot nicer. But we've basically done these two quests. And in fact, we have in fact done these two quests. <laughs> oh, a triple battery. So now we can make the Shogoth flesh, which is just um, a fluid transposer with this stuff and zombie flesh. So let me go and grab that fluid transposer. And I'll throw all this stuff back into the system as well, because uh, yeah, I'll work on the cleaning that up later on. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I probably shouldn't have thrown all of it in there. And then let's get an ME interface because we'll make this a recipe, I guess. And what else do we need? Some conduits probably. I threw some of them away, that's okay. And all right, so let's, let's be, let's wait till this is all finished building. Alrighty, so that's now got empowered oil in it. Um, this is, this should cause everything to Wait, why is that not picking up the... Oh boy, what happened? Oh, what's going on? Place fluid. Place item entity. Yeah. Pick up fluid. Why isn't it putting... Oh, because I set this to there. Okay. That was my fault. <laughs> Okay, whew. 
Uh, I don't know what happened to those seeds there. I, I was trying to, I set this to output because I thought it would go into there automatically, but it only goes down. Yeah, see. Yeah, see, making this is much faster than making the empowered seeds. Um, but anyway, okay, that's done. All right. So next up, let's put the you. You can go, I guess, we'll put you there. In, out. Uh, we also want power. So, oop. I'm going to bring it over from here and just head up here like this. That way we'll do. Let me get some zombie flesh, I mean rotten flesh. And we'll make our first piece. Oop. <laughs> Let's see, how long does it take is a good question. Probably a long time, right? Oh, a super long time. Let's get some upgrades going then. I wonder how much does it take as well? It takes, oh, half a bucket. Okay, that's not too bad. And we needed to make or something for the quest, right? But we'll just make... Wait, oh, it already went into... Oh, it didn't take as long as I thought. No? Wait, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it would have gone into the interface. Because I haven't hooked it up to the ME system yet. There it is, there. Okay, good. So let's uh, hook you up to, I guess I wanted to hook up to there. Oh man, I got too many cables going on. I'm gonna try and hide a lot of these cables in the ceiling. Like have a, a ceiling on this thing. So that we don't have to look at this ugly, ugly cabling. Although it still is kind of ugly because it pops down. You'll see these down. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's make a recipe for that. That will be one rotten flesh equals one Shogoth flesh. And let's pop you down into there. So we don't want to hide, show you in the interface terminal. So let's, uh, how many do we need? Five. We should be able to make four more. And let's see how that goes. Should be going, yep. Okay, yeah, it's not that slow, but we should have our upgrade kits now ready to go. So let's pop them in and we also, did I make augments? I don't think I did. Let's get a few of them going too. Now I would say uh, the slow part is probably going to be the creation of the fluid, but it all comes down to how many we actually need, right? There we go, that's going a bit faster. And we can pop in a bunch of augments there to make it even faster still. Okay, but that should be it. Now we should have enough for the quest. All right, there we go. I'm not going insane, am I? Who was that man with the shadowed face? What was that sound from my neighbor's attic? What leaves those scars on my door? What are those eyes that aren't eyes that move and write? I arrive, I see when I dream. <laughs> okay, so now we can make all of these. These are all the statues. Um, uh, this is 
is from Abyssal. Yeah. These are the ones that needed this thing, right? Yeah, so we should be able to make all of this stuff. I don't know how many monolith stones I have. That was a glod. Oh, was it empowered glod? Fine. Okay, let me make these statues. I'll be back. Okay, I think that's the last one. Yes. Okay, so we have made some good progress here. Necronomonomonomonomonomonomicon. Oh, uh, do the statues do anything? Looks like they do not. Using your statues craft at Necronomonomonomicon. Uh, we need a shadow gem, shadow gem shard, shadow gem fragment. How do we get a shadow gem? Oh, crystallizer. Is that a... Okay, well, I'll figure this out. So I think this is going to be it for today. Um, that was a very interesting little, um, you know, project, automating all of this. But we are done for now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.